to another episode of Can I Fall Off a Ladder and Bust My Ass? <laughs> On today's episode. <laughs> hey, when you don't have a tall enough ladder and you need to get 30 something feet in the air, <laughs> you make do with what the good Lord's given you. For those who are OSHA safety Nazis, the ladder is strapped can't go anywhere. Even the dog approves. <laughs> so here I am up on a ladder. I'm in the barn and I've already blueprinted a little bit of what I need electrical wise but kind of give you an idea what I'm looking at. Um, this is the peak of one of the roofs. I'm gonna put a junction box right there. Come out with a 45. Run down that beam and then put in a 90 and then we drop into that box and you say well why am I going to do that well this box is going to be the source box um, all the all the hot wires and whatnot are going to come in here um, that in turn will have an electrical outlet which then feeds this LED shop light and these shop lights you can daisy chain four of them across one another so this wire We'll plug into that box and that electrical outlet and that that box will be kind of like a pass-through if you will um, there'll be a hundred one 120 volt outlet uh, GFI that'll feed these shop lights and then the wires will run through pass through and they'll come on down to that elbow drop from that elbow into that box now that box will be a major uh, junction box and uh, we'll have two circuits running down the, the pipes are PVC pipes and I've not strapped them yet and you'll see that they kind of look a little crooked and, and, that, and that's fine because um, they've been sitting there for about four months and they've kind of bowed with the heat and whatnot they'll straighten themselves up plus I'll strap them and whatnot but basically what we what we'll have is two circuits running down through there um, one will be for 120 volt uh, GFIs, one on this side of the wall, one on the other side, and then it'll be um, some switch banks. You can see the, the boxes I've got already meshed in. Uh, that'll be uh, for each one of the stall doors, as well as the wash bay, as well as the outdoor uh, exterior floodlights. So you can see I've already got one box on. I've got all those hard piped. Um, I've ran wire or tubing all the way down to basically that wall I've got to drop another box and uh, get ready to run it into the wash bay and whatnot but I don't like heights and I wanted to go ahead and get this hardwired in you know at least started because um, then I can get rid of my bungee straps and my extension cord and uh, and actually get some physical hardwire in here so uh, that's today's episode of, oh my God, I'm in the air and I hate heights. See ya. What's your crazy mama doing, Snows? What's your crazy mama doing? She's out doing something with the four-wheeler? No? She on the lawnmower? No, you don't know? Let's go find mama. Come on. Let's go find mama. See what that crazy girl's doing. There's your crazy mama. What's she doing today, boys and girls? Hey, how are you guys? Welcome to Summerfield Farm and Draft Horses. Sorry I'm a little messy today. And uh, I'm doing a guest appearance on Boomer Blade. And uh, we're going to be doing stuff out in the pasture today. Uh, we got our soil test back and it was a little acid in the pH, so I've got some stuff and we're going to put it down and try to get the pH back to 7. Are you going to use the ATV? No, I'm going to use the lawnmower. <laughs> Why the lawnmower? Because I don't like using the ATV. It's slower, it's more comfortable. I get to lay back. <laughs> Low rider. <laughs>
let's go see what she's got set up boys and girls so we got many tools and and whatnot here on the farm but this is probably one of the other than the ATV this is probably one of the most valuable ones uh, this is a Toro time cutter uh, 5000 uh, those who might know the story this is actually what my old Honda Repsol turned out to be uh, when the Repsol went bye-bye uh, we took the money from it and we bought this Toro and uh, it's a great lawnmower but uh, right after I bought it I put a hitch on it and then our little battery operated uh, hydraulic spreader and basically you can put fertilizer or anything in here that you need to spread um, it allows you to do it via pressure so you can set up how much pressure you require and then basically you just drive around the field spreading the crap that you want to spread <laughs> so that being said she's coming back out with a liquid blend of pH, pH fixer. fixer and she's struggling look at that boys and girls Heavy. She's struggling. It's heavy. Five gallons. Five gallons at eight pounds is forty got <laughs> forty pounds. It's heavy. Uh, we talked about on the other video how I put a junction box there ran some piping down um, into the switch boxes GFIs for out a GFI on the other side of the wall um, ran some piping along the overhead here and uh, really did a really great job with it and then a 90 into a junction box there for a light switch it's on the other side uh, I need to come back out of that junction box with another 90 and continue on down to here. You see I've got some piping up in the overhead. Don't know if the camera will pick it up or not. But what I was doing today is way up here. And before anybody says anything, yes, I'm very much aware that that shop light is kind of at an angle and that's fine. That's because I used some bungee straps there for some temporary lighting, temporary power. Uh, I'm not quite ready to tie those lights in. Just, so yes, there is a bungee strap holding it. Yes, it causes the light to be off canter. That's fine. It'll be fixed here shortly. But if you can look behind the light, you'll see a junction box. I hung that today, put in a, a soft tubing, ran eight foot of three quarter piping to this corner and ran, maybe some light will pick it up this time, and ran eight foot of three quarter piping to this corner. What I'll do is I'll drop in a 90 and then down about where that green bungee strap is, somewhere in that range, I'll drop another junction box because there'll need to be a light for the hay barn. There'll need to be a light here for the temporary housing stall. And then I'll need to run one all the way down yonder. So I've got my work cut out for me, but the reason I'm doing the video is I don't have a ladder <laughs> that's tall enough to reach up there. So I've got a 12 foot ladder. You figure my truck is raised up. Um, so between the truck and the ladder, I'm able to do it. I put some, I learned my lesson from the last time I did this. Uh, it was kind of rickety. So I strapped it in, still kind of rickety. 
and it was just a little too short to be comfortable. So I put some blocks underneath of it, stabilized it, got it up in the air another three inches, and of course bolted it down. So um, you can laugh at my setup all you want, but it freaking works. So I'm gonna pause this for just a second and I'll take it up yonder and let you see a little bit more of it. So here in the barn, uh, this entire barn will be solar when I'm finished with it. And so what we're going to do, tempor what we've done temporarily, is we've got an extension cord running out of the back end of that horse trailer pretty much. Runs across the ground, runs up here into the hay barn, comes over here and it's got an Alexa switch on it. And then uh, power, power up to here which then feeds that light and that light in turn feeds that light, feeds that light and feeds that light. Okay. So what we're going to do is up here in the junction box, I'm going to put in a, a 120 volt GFI and this little white cable will go away and it will actually be zip tied up nice and pretty and it'll get its power from that box. And this conduit that I ran down, It'll do a 90 or whatnot, and it'll get its power from way over yonder in that last room. That's going to be the electrical room. That's where the batteries and the solar panels and the inverters and um, everything that I picked up for this place is going to be. So it'll be all wired, you know, up through here. All of this crap will go away, and it'll be all nice and tidy. But for today, had to get a box in there of course I don't know if you can see because the lights probably gonna blind you but got a box three-quarter tubing which allows you to kind of bend it uh, without having to put in an offset or a 45 or a 90 kind of just lets you do the gentle bends and three-quarter pipe and then like I said earlier I'll put a 90 in there drop the box and keep on trucking did the same thing over there. So we're coming along. See ya. Well, I'm going to cut that shit out. That didn't work. All right, so let's try this again. <laughs> Blooper reel. So on today's episode of In the Creek Without a Paddle. <laughs>